Hello, this is Ian from Device 42. Thank you for joining me today as we go through some of the decent capabilities offered by the data center functionality of Device 42. When I hover over the data center tab, I can see the various options that are available, including physical site management, power and hardware model information, as well as administrative functionality, including end users and purchase orders. And we'll quickly cover these uh, to get a sense of what all of this can do for you in your environment. The first three options here will let you structure and represent physical hierarchy of your sites or locations that you manage. When I click on buildings, I can see a list view of all these buildings with some metadata. I can drill down into my New Haven data center and see that metadata here as well, including room information, custom fields, or file attachments that I may want to upload, including uh, lease agreements for the building. When I click on a particular room, I can drill down and see metadata for that object, including racks that may be deployed and set up there, file attachments again, as well as standalone devices or other assets. I can drill down another level and see similar information for a particular rack, but if I click on the context menu here and select room layout, I can build and then visualize a representation of what that data center or server room may actually look like. And so we have a top-down grid for the NHDC1 room in my New Haven building. If I turn on the edit mode, I can very easily move things around, rearrange them, resize them, everything will snap to the grid. I can add new objects by selecting one of the templates here and dragging it onto the grid and then giving it the relevant information. You can also define new object templates and say that you want to associate them with the room layout so that you can add them to this visualization here, but also include associations with buildings or other assets. If I turn on the details mode, I can hover over any of these objects and get more information about what these are. So all the colored objects are racks. The color indicates roughly how much space is available, but if I hover over the rack itself, I get more detail on what's in that rack as well as links to the layout of the rack itself, connection information, or the details for the rack. If I select a PDU, for example, I can see information about that particular PDU, including serial number, the device model, IP address, as well as rated and power draw for banks, outlets, or infeeds, depending on what the manufacturer provides. I can even map specific devices to specific ports on the PDU itself. I can also see recent and trending power data for the individual banks on the PDU. And so I can see uh, maximum usage, minimum usage, average usage over the past day, week, or month. Hovering over the data center tab again, I can look at some of the other options here, such as hardware models. This will give me a list of all the hardware models that have been discovered or imported into my device 42 instance. I can quickly see how, uh, what the size is, how much room it takes up in the rack. I can apply images to it so that it uh, represents what it actually looks like if I add it to a rack. If I want to see information about a particular vendor, I can use the, a filtering option on the right hand side here. If I want to know how many devices a particular hardware model has, I can select the Power Edge R710, for example, see all the metadata pertaining to this machine, or this hardware model, rather, as well as the different devices that are using this hardware model. So at the bottom here, I can see those individual devices, whether they're in service or not, the serial number, as well as the location, whether the, if they've been placed in a rack or a storage room. If I select the Purchases section of the Data Center tab, I can see various purchase orders that have been uh, added to my Device42 instance. These can be added manually, but the one that I'm pulling up here was pulled in through our Warranty Sync option. And so for a few different hardware manufacturers, including IBM, HP, and Dell, this can be pulled in using serial, model, serial numbers of the devices that have been discovered in the environment. So here I can see the vendor that it's associated with. If this is for a customer that you're assisting, you can track that information here. The cost center, the date, the cost itself. Was this a one-time or a recurring cost? And has the order been completed? I can also upload a PDF version of the invoice here and then see each line item, uh, what is part of that purchase order, that end of life or end of support contract information. So I can see the contract and service type here the start and end dates, as well as the object that it's associated with. 
once all this information is here, you can easily run reports on any of the contracts, say, that are ending within the next six months, so that you're always aware of anything that may be coming to end of life or end of support. So that's a high-level overview of the different options available, some of the different options available in the data center section of Device 42. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, please feel free to reach out to us at support at device42.com. Thank you.